Here we go, guys. Just got home from work. Wasn't feeling too well. Uh, went and checked the mail. Of course, got a package in today. From Rotor Geeks. Just cut it open. Rotor Geeks. See what's got all in there. Of course, you get the battery strap. Which is pretty good. I like. Got the stuff on the back of it to stick. And, uh, it's cool because when you uh, purchase stuff through them, you, know, you get that slip of what you didn't purchase. $90. Thanks, Rotor Geeks. Of course, spend 90 bucks and guess what? You get some stickers. FPV tree hugger. Light bulbs for breakfast. <laughs> I love that one. All right, guys. Let's see what we got in the box. And that is it. No more in the bag. Ordered the Rotor Geeks Cobra Motors. CM2204 1960KV Motors, guys. Yes. This is the motors I'm going to be running on the Vortex. Is these uh, 1960 KVs going to be running them bad boys to get a little bit more speed and power out of my setup that I'm running. Of course, I'm still running the original uh, 12 amp ESCs. And I got my guys, I mean, I know I'm not a fast guy as these, uh, these, uh, these other pilots that are sponsored, but... I got my damn camera on my Vortex guys pointed all the way up, so, yeah, so for that being said, uh, as you guys can see, this is how I've been flying it, and that is all the way up, I mean, well, not damn near all the way up, because if it's all the way up, you, that's the way I've been flying it, it's basically like that. So, I, I've been trying to get a little something else out of it to where I don't have to have my camera so far pointed upwards, and, uh still get the speed that I'm looking for and agility and stuff so went ahead and side because I'm running the Tiger Motors on here now the 1806s which is the same ones that I have on the QAV 250 which has been just been sitting I haven't been flying this bad boy at all whatsoever and the ZMR uh, 250 which I'm running the Lumineer uh, 2208 2000 kV motors on that bad on those bad boys on the ZMR so I was thinking about ordering a set of those to put on the vortex but I've been chit chatting with one of the uh, good little pilots oh my god been chit chatting with him on Facebook and a pretty good cat man he is he's a pretty good cat some of these guys don't get the recognition they need and uh, I, I hate to say it uh, they some damn good guys but uh, me and him talk for quite a bit, guys. And I do mean quite a bit. Some of the other guys, you don't usually get to chit-chat with you. But, yeah, man, he talked with me quite a bit on good little running uh, setups and everything like that. And I figured out what setup I'm going to go is with the uh, 2204 1900 kV motors, 1960 kV motors on the Vortex. And I was going to go with the U-Bad uh, Mini Beast the mini uh, 20 amp ESCs on this bad boy and then I've been thinking about the, um, the little bees uh, ESCs the killer bee ESCs or whatever they is that, that they got from bird's eye Let's think about going with those because they said those would be small enough to run in here too but now I see vortex is they got the 250 out and ain't no telling when they gonna come out with the uh, stuff uh oh sergio at flip rc got the stuff up on his website so you can see all the pricing which i appreciate that Serge. thank you sir i can kind of get the price uh what it's going to cost me for the new uh 12 the 20 amp escs to run for the vortex so that's what i'm kind of i think i might wait to see if they're going to come out with those anytime soon hopefully before black friday or after black friday or whatever but I was thinking of go ahead and uh, maybe waiting before I put my uh, Cobra motors on this, and uh, wait till I the e till I hear something about those ESCs. If not, then I'm gonna go ahead and slap my Cobra motors on here because I do not want to take this thing a 
apart and back apart even though I love doing that but oh well also I ordered the uh, white crash kit for my vortex so this might be the last time you guys might be seeing it red so enjoying it I was going to think about getting the orange kit or the green which would be cool to see especially when you land in green grass so but yeah guys that's the little setup I got running on my vortex like I said I just want to get a little something else out of it I'm not super fast like like I say oh my god now but I, I think I need to push it a little I'm, I'm pushing I'm starting to push I hate to say it, I'm starting to push myself a lot more these days guys than I was before so I just feel that it's I'm not getting the right amount of power and speed that I need out of the setup that I'm running now because like I say I uh as you guys can see my prop bag over here straws for antennas which I get from work but as you guys can see I got tons and tons and tons of props so I mean I have to start using those to get that going but another thing that's going to trip me out because after you see those all those look at there there's another big bag bull nose props so and those are all six by four so I'm going to have to get, like I say, the setup I'm going with, I'm going to be able to run my 6x4s on here, plus the 5x4s, bull nose. So that's going to be a great thing for me. That way, because I'll physically order a sh ton of more bull nose props, 5x4s, guys. But you see they came out with the new 6x4x5 props, or 5x4x5 now. The new 5x4 props, or 5x5 props, or whatever you want to call them. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching, guys, and always remember, if you can't keep them up, keep them down.